Welcome back, Ridgeview. This is Raven Support. Thanks for watching. I'm Sienna. And I'm Ellie. It's Monday, November 27th. Today is no cheat trivia question. Which author has the most works translated from English? Let's get to today's announcements. Okay, so it's finals week. Tomorrow, we'll talk about how to relieve your stress during finals. But for now, let's just talk about the schedule itself. Finals are planned for Wednesday and Thursday. That means no school Friday. On Wednesday, we will have finals for first and second, which will be 100 minutes long. Then after lunch, we will have third, fourth, and fifth for just 30 minutes each. Thursday, you will have first and second for 30 minutes and 25 minutes, during which you will work on a survey. Then the finals for third and fourth, each 100 minutes. Then lunch, then fifth period's final, which is also 100 minutes. Then make sure you're checking in with teachers this week about what the finals in each class looks like. And then taking care of your body and mind to keep yourself ready to do your best on Wednesday and Thursday. Again, Friday is no school. Then second trimester starts next week. Speaking of second trimester, if you have a schedule change request, please make sure that you have submitted it using the QR code or the link in your email. But then also that you are actively checking your email for a response from your counselor. They may need additional information before they can make a change. A couple of Ravens from Unified Sports joined the Redmond High team to compete at the Special Olympics Oregon Fall State Games in Portland last week. Anna Sherlock and Gabe Tackman joined up to help compete and they ended up earning a fourth place finish. Great job. Okay, let's check in with the weather for a week ahead. Hello, I'm Keenan and we're taking a quick look at the weather forecast for this last week. November, is a, it was a chilly morning for the <laughs> For sure, but the rest of <laughs> later, clouds roll in as we uh, prepare for uh, some changes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Warms up quite a bit. The mid, the mid, what? The highs are in the mid, the upper 40s. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hello, I'm Keenan, and we're taking a quick look at the <laughs> forecast for this week, <laughs> last week. <laughs> Warm front. Moves in in front of the southwest. In front, oh my gosh, in front. <laughs> Overnight lows are in the 20s for the next few weeks, or few days. God. <laughs> November is a chilly morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Keenan, and we're taking a quick look at the weather forecast for this last week of November. It is a chilly morning for sure. But the rest of the week warms up quite a bit. The highs are in the mid to upper 40s, which means some nice late fall days. The sun will be out early in the week, but later the clouds will roll in as we prepare for a chance of rain or even snow this Friday. Overnight lows are in the 20s for the next, for the next few days, so expect frosty windshields and cold mornings. Later in the week, the overnight low will warm up above freezing as warm fr front moves in from the southwest. Back to you. And now let's check in with leadership in the Raven Rundown. Hey Ravens, welcome back to the Raven Rundown. We wanted to thank everyone who donated to this year's canned food drive. We donated a total of 1,653 cans and non-perishable items to Bethlehem Inn. And we want to congratulate Mr. Williams' class for coming in first place with the most cans donated. You guys will be rewarded a treat of your choice during class tomorrow, so make sure to vote for something you all want today in class. We also wanted to let you guys know about an important upcoming event. We have our annual Winter Wishes event on December 16th. Winter Wishes is our annual holiday community give back where we donate a bunch of presents and household necess necessities to families in need. For fundraising so that we can purchase these presents for the families, we will be hosting a coin drive from December 4th to December 8th. We really appreciate and welcome any support in any way. Every penny counts, so save the dates and support. We will also be holding uh, class competitions for the coin drive, meaning whichever class has the most amount of money donated wins a treat of their choice. Before we go, we want to wish you all a good luck during finals week. Come see the leadership team if you need any support throughout this week. We all know how stressful finals week can be, so don't be afraid to ask for support if you need it. We will see you next week, Ravens. That's our show for today. The answer to today's no cheat trivia question, the author with the most works translated from English is mystery writer Agatha Christie who has over 7,000 translations to more than 100 languages. Second most from English is William Shakespeare with over just 4,000. <laughs> As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Ravens. I'm Ellie. And I'm Sienna. Have an epic day. Stay safe and stay classy.